Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So this is another currently inked uh, video and um, this is, uh, we're now in um, sort of mid towards the end of May 2018 and I wanted to show you some of the pens I actually have inked up. Now I actually have a little bit more inked up than I would normally. And the reason for that is that uh, I've actually been actually breaking out a lot of pens that weren't inked up and actually inking them up and recording some videos. So I actually have, have been working quite hard to try and create a backlog of videos uh, for my YouTube channel here. And uh, a number of reasons why I wanted to do that. Well, one is the commitment to to creating these videos, um, but also to uh, ensure that I have a backlog so that I don't have to feel pressured to sit down every day or every week to to do uh, to create a new video. Um, but uh, to this point in time, I now actually have enough videos that will actually take me through to the end of 20, 2018 and possibly even well into 2019. So some of the pens you're going to see today are, um, some of them are my newer pens, um, some of them are um, pens that I um, have already created and edited a review on, um, but some of them you may see coming up very soon as a video review, and some it might take a little bit longer depending on uh, when, when I release those videos. So here's the first set of pens that I have currently inked up. So these are all Visconti's, and I'll show you this. This is uh, the uh, Visconti Opera Master, and um, this is the Blue Swirls Proto or Prototype. And, and this is a lovely pen. Uh, it, uh, uh, it, it's an Opera Master, so it's an Opera Master size. It's, it's a weighty pen. Uh, comes in around 60 grams, uh, has um, these uh, blue swirls on them uh, around the, the uh, body and, um, and this is currently inked up with uh, Pilot Oroshizuku Mamiji and you can just see how that ink looks there. It's not a, a um, transparent demonstrator, it's more of an opaque demonstrator but you can at least see the ink there. So that's one of the pens that I have um, inked up. Now this is another pen, this is the, again, another Opera Master, this is the Crimson Tide, and um, this is a pen uh, that I do keep inking up. Uh, I've not had it inked up a lot lately, um, I've been going to some of my newer pens, but this is a pen that I always go back to, it's one of my favourites. So, so this is the Crimson Tide, and this is currently inked up with uh, Diamine Wild Strawberry, and uh, I actually have a gemstone here uh, in the... Um, uh, my pen system that you can see there. So uh, this is uh, again a, a lovely pen. And then another pen that I have is the uh, again another Opera Master. Uh, it's the Visconti Opera Master River Thames, and this uh, actually uses the cap of the London Fog, the material that's in the London Fog cap. And this is a really, really lovely pen. I absolutely love the grey and, and blue swirls in this pen. So, so this uh, is uh, is a favourite. And I actually have a 1.3 millimeter stub on this one. Then there's a, another all-time favourite, which is the uh, Goulet exclusive. Uh, thanks to Brian and Rachel Goulet. This is the Opera Master Luna. And it has some very, very sparkle, sparkly sort of uh, look to the pen. And you can just see those sparkles as they really do glisten there in, in the light. Uh, so this is actually inked up with the ink that comes with this pen. And this is just uh, Visconti Blue. So uh, that, that is a lovely, lovely pen. It, but it is a, a, a retailer exclusive. It's only available to GouletPens.com. So if you want this pen, go check them out. And then I have the Visconti Istos Arachnis, and and this is a again a it's it's a lovely pen. It's an overlay pen, and um, it's one that that just sort of interests me. I'm not particularly a fan of uh, a fan of spiders, but um, uh, it it is 
uh, an interesting pen for sure. Um, uh, this has a, a medium nib on it. And I have the um, Visconti Belgica. And uh, this is a really, really exquisite pen. So you can just see here how that looks. It's uh, You basically have a couple of crowns there on the pen. Uh, and, and this really is basically to signify uh, Belgium and uh, as a country. So it's a really, really nice pen. Uh, gold overlay. Um, writes very well. Uh, this is a uh, broad nib. And writes like a double board, to be honest. And I have one of my newer pens, which I've done a review on that, that you can already uh, you can watch if you haven't already. And this is the Visconti Speakeasy. And uh, this is a lovely, lovely pen. Um, the material on this pen is just stunning. It's uh, the, the red and blue sort of hues there. It is an amazing, amazing pen. Now, sadly, um, it only takes cartridges, or it takes a very, very small cartridge converter. But um, I, I, so far, I have been burning through that pretty quickly, the, the ink in, in that pen. Uh, it's only lasting about a page and a half of A4, because uh, it is a very wet pen. But it's a, a lovely, lovely pen. Uh, and that's in a medium nib as well. Um, and then I have uh, another new edition, which is the Visconti Medici uh, Il Magnifico. And uh, this is a lovely pen. This is silver um, cap, and it's very, very heavy, uh, and with a marble body. Now, I, I do actually uh, have a video of this as well, so if you haven't seen that, uh, go over and have a look at that video. Uh, it is a really, really stunning pen. Um, so uh, I'm really glad I, that I um, added this to my collection. And then this pen, which is actually, <laughs> in comparison, very light. This is the uh, Visconti Luxor. Um, sometimes it's shown as Luxor 88 because there's only 88 pens made worldwide. Uh, sometimes it's called, um, uh, you'll see it called the Luxor Obelisk or just the Luxor. And it is a magnificent pen. This is basically it's a Macchiato pen uh, with uh, um, layers of um, lacquer on top to protect it, and it is a stunning, stunning pen. Uh, it's a very wet medium nib. Uh, I have that inked up with um, Iwashizuku Kompeki at the moment to match the hieroglyphs, and uh, it's really, really nice pen. And then I have. Um, the uh, Visconti Medici, um, and uh, this is a, a favourite of mine. It's a lovely, lovely um, pen made of um, what Visconti call acro silk, and uh, it's in terms of um, material, it's actually quite stunning. There's lots of chatoyance there going on uh, in in the body and in, in the material, and uh, it really is a lovely, lovely pen. So uh, I do like that. Now, here's the next uh, 10 pens that I have uh, currently inked up. So we have the Visconti Opera Silver Dust. And this is, again, a lovely, it's a ribbon pen. So you can see here the swirls in the body there. It's actually silver dust that's in this pen, and uh, again, it's a very, very uh, interesting pen. Now that's actually inked up with uh, um, Mont Blanc Oyster Grey. Then we have my uh, lovely, um, very special um, Homo Sapiens London Fog, and this I just adore. It was my first Visconti that set me on the bandwagon to... Uh, getting more Viscontis, and I have a lot more Viscontis now. So, uh, from that perspective, that's a good pen. And then we have the Florentine Hills, uh, which is using similar ribbon, um, but it's a, a green and brown type ribbon. And uh, that is inked up at the moment with um, 
Visconti Green. Again, you can see that it's a lovely, lovely pen. So reviews of these pens will be coming soon. Uh, and we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Chiantishir. And uh, I didn't have a huge amount of gold in, in the barrel here, but um, a little bit here and here, but um, I, I do love this. Uh, it's, a, it's a lovely pen. I like that I can actually see more of the ink uh, in this pen. So uh, for me, that's, that's a, a winner. And then we have the um, Homo sapiens um, uh, Caput Mundi. Uh, and uh, this is a, a lovely. It, it's it is a, a it's a kind of clear demonstrator, but it's it, it's it's a tinted barrel. So it's I guess it's it's more of an opaque type uh, pen. But I love the bronze trim that, that we have on on this pen, and it just I think it just matches perfectly uh, with with the actual uh, material uh, on the pen and the color. And then we have the um, Visconti Jade. Again, this is another Homo sapiens, uh, and again, very similar. It has like a like a opaque or semi opaque um, barrel there. Uh, it has the jade gemstone on it. It comes with it, uh, and again, I I really do like this. So this is um, again now this one's inked up with Visconti green, and then uh, we have a Bronze Age uh, here, Lava Edition. Now this is uh, one of the pens that I have inked up a lot of the time, and uh, I have this inked up currently with a uh, Mont Blanc Toffee Brown, and I find that's a very lovely ink. And this has a fine nib, but it's a very bouncy nib, very wet nib. And then I have this one, which is the uh, Homo Sapiens Lava Edition Dark Age. Now this is um, inked up with Pilot Orochizuku Kiri Sami. And um, uh, that is more of a like a dark grey ink, grey to black ink, and uh, I really, really do uh, like that ink in here. It's a very wet nib, it's a medium nib, um, and I think it matches it, especially with the black trim on this this pen. And then we have another Bronze Age, and this is the um, Visconti Homo Sapiens uh, Marzi. So this is. Uh, uh, basically a, um, a picture of Mount Etna that has been airbrushed on by the artist Claudio Marzi and this I really really do like um, it uh, I, I think at the end of the day the the uh, material for this pen was actually taken from Mount Etna so uh, th this is basaltic lava that the pen is made of with a blend of resin so for me that that actually that picture really sort of uh, makes this pen worthwhile And then we have the uh, um, Visconti Corsani Octagonal. And this is a stacked celluloid pen, and it's just lovely. Where you can see that stacked coin celluloid, the way they stack the, the layers of celluloid to, to bring that sort of like uh, um, coin, stacked coin effect. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, material. And I really do like the stack coin celluloid and for the next 10 pens we have again another stack celluloid and this is the wall street and this is a, again another uh, stunning stacked celluloid pen and uh, just see there the, the stack celluloid just looks really really lovely um, and it just when it picks up the light you just see it sort of shine so that's the LE version and then we have um, the uh, Davina Metropolitan so again another stacked celluloid this is the MIDI version uh, this doesn't come in an oversized uh, version uh, but you have the silver rods uh, from the Davina that, that, that twist round the pen and the body and the cap again lovely lovely material And then we have the uh, Visconti Fiorenza Lava. Now this was the, I believe, the first lava pen that Visconti ever did. Now this is not hygroscopic like the the uh, lava editions, but um, it's actually made from um, some of the um, uh, 
some of the ground down basaltic lava as I understand it and uh, I absolutely love these swirls that you have in this pen it's just really really lovely and then this pen is the uh, Visconti uh, Voyager Kaleido uh, Honey Almond and uh, so pretty this one it comes with the uh, uh, like the uh, Fiorenza Lava comes with the old style uh, uh, kill clip uh, which I actually do like the look of and, and uh, it's, it's actually quite practical um, again that is a, again another stunning stunning pen and then we have this lovely uh, lovely uh, Ducati Palazzo um, and uh, this is is a real favourite of mine uh, and uh, it's inked up with an orange ink here um, I uh, actually inked this up for the pen club meet actually a little it was at the beginning of May and uh, uh, still not been able to write this one dry yet and then we have a couple of uh, millionaires and uh, this is the green marble version and uh, I just uh, recorded a review of this one uh, and that's uh, rather nice uh, and then we also have the um, this this lovely uh, version here, uh, much much lighter. It has a lot of veins in it as well. So uh, I think this is uh, again uh, a really really nice pen, and it's made of marble, so uh, very very heavy. And then we have the Visconti Camelot, and. Uh, um, this is a, a lovely pen. I, uh, I've shown uh, or showcased this in a number of videos in the past. Uh, this this material is, is really stunning because it actually, um, if you zoom in, you can actually see that the pen is made of chainmail. Uh, absolutely stunning. So this again is a really nice pen. This is inked up with a Mont Blanc Oyster Grey. And then we have the watermark, Visconti watermark. Uh, another favourite of mine, I have this uh, inked up um, with uh, an orange ink at the moment. I believe it's, um, uh, it's either Yuyaki, Washizuku Yuyaki, or it's maybe it's Sailor Kin Makuse. Uh, I can't quite remember. But again, that is a lovely, lovely, stunning pen there. And it's uh, solid silver. And then this is the Brunelleschi, which is a, a pen made of terracotta tile. Uh, they've ground the, the terracotta tiles uh, down into a dust, uh, mixed it with resin, and then created this stunning pen. And uh, it's really smooth to the touch. It's a really, really nice pen. So I've done a video of this uh, recently, and this is um, a uh, um, uh, inked up with uh, War and Klinger Alt Bordeaux. So, on to the final 10 pens. Um, uh, these are uh, non Visconti pens. So, uh, here we have the Pelican M600 Turquoise White. I have this uh, currently inked up with uh, Lamy Turquoise, which I absolutely love. Um, we have the uh, Pelican M800 Renaissance Brown, which again is, is a lovely, lovely stunning pen. That cracked ice effect. It's a really, really nice pen. And another one to match that pen is the uh, Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue. And this is, uh, again, another cracked ice effect. But uh, it is, again, a lovely stunning pen. And we have the uh, Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. Now, obviously, there's a bit of controversy here because you do get light parts and dark parts of the barrel uh, of the material. I don't have an issue with that. Um, I think it, it actually looks quite nice and it actually really reflects the ocean a lot more. Um, but I know um, from a controversy perspective, I know um, some people don't like that. And we have the uh, M800 Grand Plus and um, this is uh, again a lovely stunning pen. Um, so I, I uh, have that inked up I believe with um, SBRE Brown at the moment. And uh, again, that is a, a lovely, lovely pen um, in my collection. And I have a, a video review of that up at, at the moment if you want to look at that. 
Uh, there's also the M800 Royal Gold Warden. So this is a pen uh, made with Warden process. So it has abalone shell in those stripes. And again, such a stunning pen. Uh, all of these, uh, this is linked up with um, uh, Pilot of Washizuka uh, Zuku uh, in a hoe and um, all of these pens actually uh, have broad nibs on them my uh, pelicans and then we have uh, um, a classic which is a pilot custom 823 FA nib now for those of you that haven't seen the FA um, the FA nib is actually quite an interesting nib now let's see if I can get this to focus is it going to focus there you go it's a very, it's a very, very fine nib. You can see that, and it's called basically called the FA nib, and um, it's a, a number uh, fifteen nib, and it basically writes like an extra fine nib. It's so thin, um, but um, it really, really will flex. It's not to the point of a modern uh, or a vintage flex. It's more of a modern flex, um, but uh, it does offer quite a lot of line variation. So that's the uh, Pilot Custom 823, and that's uh, uh, inked up with uh, Iroshizuku um, Kompeki at the moment. Then I have um, one of my classic pens. Uh, this is the LM1, and uh, again, this has the Diffusion Bonded Acrylic. Uh, and such stunning, stunning um, patterns that you get from this diffusion bonded acrylic. So uh, that uh, is is a lovely, lovely pen, and that's inked up with a Blackstone uh, Yuluru Red. And then we have the uh, classic pens LB5, and uh, this is, again is is a lovely, lovely pen, and. Um, it's got the diffusion bonded acrylic again so if I try to focus a little bit better on that you'll see when I rotate it it um, looks really really lovely so uh, again this is a pen that I really do love it has a lovely nib it's a king of pen effectively um, but it has a lovely uh, bouncy nib and I've been playing with some Twisby, so I've got a number of Twisbys inked up. I'll just show you one here, but this is the Twisby uh, Diamond 580 AL. And uh, I've been uh, mixing some of my own inks and uh, testing them in pens. So uh, this is a uh, pen that uh, I've uh, uh, recently inked up and written with. So really, that that's the amount of pens I have currently inked. now. That's a lot of pens, I know, <laughs> that's what you're thinking. Um, but um, they are all inked. Uh, I'm not going to write with all of these uh, uh, today in this video, because uh, that would just take far too long. <laughs> but um, uh, I just really wanted to show you what I currently have inked up at the moment. Uh, I do um, sort of uh, unink pens or write through the pens and then and clean them out on a regular basis uh, or as soon as I can. And then I tried to, to pick a different pen and a different ink colour to, to ink up. So uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.